Have you guys heard the news? Do you know what's coming? It'll be here soon. I'm Laura Danzel with the Vermilion County Conservation District. Come along with me. I'm going to tell you all about a fascinating creature that's coming to East Central Illinois in just a few weeks. This is the year of brood 10 of our cicadas. This little guy right here is the nymph stage of a cicada. He has been underneath the ground since 2004, living in a burrow underneath the ground and feeding off of the roots of trees. They are now starting to come to the surface, digging burrows up to the surface. Eventually, once our temperatures are warm enough, he will climb up a tree trunk. The skin will split on their back and an adult cicada with wings will emerge. Can you imagine 17 years underneath the ground in complete darkness and the only thing you get to eat are tree root juices? Ugh. But now's their time to come up out of the ground. Our soil temperatures have warmed up enough that they've started to burrow up to the surface. So I'm gonna roll this log over and see if we can find any of their burrows. We have several underneath this tree log. There's one right here. There's another right there. There's one there. We have one up here on the top of the log. The mud has stuck to the top of the log. There's another one there, another one there. So we have like half a dozen just underneath this one log alone. The cicadas that are gonna be coming out, this brood 10, there's going to be hundreds, if not thousands of them coming up out of the ground in Vermilion County. In fact, there's only four counties that have the brood 10 cicadas. Most of them are further to the east, like Indiana, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and all of those states that direction. So we're kind of lucky that they're going to be here in Vermilion County. Just like there's different types of butterflies, different types of beetles, there's different types of cicadas as well. And there are some cicadas that come out every single year here in East Central Illinois. Sometimes those cicadas are referred to as the dog day cicadas because you can hear them during the dog days of summer. So now that our soil temperatures have started to warm up and those nymphs have started to make their way to the surface, the only thing they're waiting on now is our air temperatures to get a little bit warmer before they start to make their ascent up a trunk of a tree. Once they're on the trunk of this tree, that nymph will split open their skin on their exoskeleton and the adult cicada will emerge. The old shell of the nymph will still be stuck to the trunk of a tree so you'll have to see how many of those you can find in your backyard or when you come out to visit the parks. The adult cicadas will then fly up into our treetops and they're going to be very loud. They're going to be noisy. That male cicada is going to be singing to attract a mate. Once they find their mate, the female will go lay her eggs in the stem of a tree branch and then they die. Their sole purpose when they're in that adult stage is to simply mate, lay eggs, and then they die. When those eggs hatch, the new nymph will be about the size of a grain of rice and they will fall to the ground. And then the nymph will bury down deep into the soil and start that whole process again of drinking tree juice from roots for the next 17 years. I know the idea of like this bug that's been living underneath the ground sucking on tree juices and crawling to the surface and splitting open their skin and becoming this adult flying insect sounds kind of creepy sounds kind of weird but it's so super cool and it's an opportunity you're not going to want to miss out on checking out when you come out here to the parks this summer the sounds the noise seeing them fly it's going to be super cool and it only happens once every 17 years so make sure you come out to the parks check it out and take in the cicada craziness that's going to happen this year